Hey everybody, Brian here from guantlabs.net. I just wanted to go over the new uh, release from MathWorks for the new MATLAB uh, R2014B. Uh, this release is pretty powerful. Um, the, the two big features of the MATLAB graphics uh, where you can have better um, uh, uh, basically as I said, aliased fonts, lines, uh, the, this is just out of the box makes it easier to highlight different changes in your graphs. But the real big um, impact I think uh, in this is basically the ability uh, the wrong section. Um, let me just see here. What I'm finding is with the uh, MATLAB, uh, now with this big data map reduce and Hadoop, uh, you can have it go up against, you know, that type of environment. Um, and uh, if you're storing, let's say, market data, you have the ability to now use it to speed things up. Uh, and there's a few other things that really uh, caught my eye with this. Um, if you're using any type of uh, algorithm, let me see if I can find it somewhere. Uh, I'll find it eventually. Uh, basically, with this new feature, uh, it's very powerful. Not only is the data store and map reduce powerful, but you're able to um, stream uh, basically data and then have your algorithms and they can be coded up using the coder I believe uh, to translate into C or C++ to have them run against that data uh, as if you're streaming them. This is a very powerful uh, feature. Now in terms of uh, things like R and uh, Python, uh, to set up those type of environments is a real pain the other thing is uh, I'm not a big fan of is the, the, the complexities that come with it and the more things you need to maintain, especially if you uh, go into a live trading environment. This is one of the big advantages of MATLAB because it kind of takes care of that for you because uh, it takes care of what's under the hood and you just worry about the actual coding to use that technology. So that's one of the big things I like about this uh, big data. And um, let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, see right here, you can use MapReduce based algorithms uh, for production Hadoop systems using the MATLAB compiler. Uh, there's some other big advantages here. Um, I read somewhere that you can use uh, this technology as well to use against uh, a Amazon uh, cloud service the EC2 so again it's like no different than how they handle the distributed computing how they handle the GPU they take care of all the complexity coding that comes with that to set that up and you just probably I'm gonna assume you just type in your account for Amazon and set it all up and uh, just the way you go uh, makes life a lot easier now that's a huge advantage obviously because you're using cloud the other good advantage is that all your programming logic stays with you on your server if you're using services like Quantopian I think their their biggest downfall well it's two big downfalls with it is when you start using these kind of service services where you're putting your trading logic onto a remote server that you don't own Who's to say that that logic uh, is not being logged, ripped off, copied, or whatever? Not saying they don't do it. I've seen a video of the uh, founder pleading that they, they don't do it. But um, have you ever seen a, a used car salesman saying it's the best deal on the planet? Uh, I wouldn't trust anybody under the sun with those kind of arrangements, especially if you have an algorithm that you're basically maybe even your livelihoods. Uh, Depending upon the other, the other big disadvantage is with with those type of uh, um, type of uh, services, especially if they're web. You're really constrained on the availability and what you can do with it. Let's say with Python, 
Uh, I've shown numerous examples of you trying to upgrade Python, and they have certain R, uh, Python packages and even R packages that get left behind. You can't upgrade, so you're forced to stay in one particular version. And, and again, this just happens to R. Just go to either of the sites to download versions, and, and those versions are splintering all these uh, different languages like R and Python. So this is the nice thing about MATLAB. Yeah, it is a commercial product, but you know I have not yet run, for the last three years, run any scripts, and, and scripts from 2009 that were never able to be run on the current version of MATLAB. So that's a huge, huge advantage. Um, and um, yeah, that's one of the big reasons why I like MATLAB. And, and I mean, even address the ease of use and the rapid development you get out of it. You can develop stuff very quickly in MATLAB uh, as opposed to worrying about bugs or reliability or I can go on and on about it, but I'm not gonna, okay. Let's stop there on the Python R uh, business. But okay, so coming back to this, we have some enhanced graphic capabilities. The big data is a big one. Uh, we've also uh, changed around uh, noting that you can now use date time duration uh, that makes it easier to work with date formats and I've just been playing with that it's not as, all that bad as, as, as we speak as we speak now uh, one of the things I should bring back to the big data is the capability of uh, also uh, working with uh, machine learning applications as well against your data this is huge in that department as well, uh, and uh, if people don't know, but the neural net toolbox is pretty, pretty, pretty sophisticated. I've heard even people that don't like MATLAB kind of like say it's pretty good. So I, I'm not a machine learning kind of guy, but worth mentioning, right? So another big advantage is the Git subversion uh, abilities now to work with out of box. Uh, I've worked with the Git; it's, it's gotten much better now, um, and uh, I kind of actually say it. yeah it's good now finally but you can work with it out of box now and you can also package up toolboxes of your own and then distribute them on onto things like git or even subversion which is really good uh, also for um, the uh, hardware support they've enhanced this uh, um, I read somewhere some new Altera thingamajiggy so if you're going down that line of FPGA, this is it. Ah, uh, what else? Uh, man, uh, let's see all the highlights here. Uh, okay, so this is the dude. Um, yeah, this is what I was looking for. So, um, let me see if I can find it here. Okay, so we haven't even talked about any of the enhancements in Simulink. Wow, Simulink has gotten so much better now. Uh, live streaming data cursors and simulation. Wow. Faster debugging with conditional breakpoints, watch data and fast animation within state flow. Wow. Um, MATLAB generating simulink. Uh, that's pretty cool. Now, um, this, this, is, this is big. MATLAB production server now include Python environments. So not only are you able to work with C or C++, and I know .NET as well as uh, Java, they've now added Python. That's a big deal uh, for all you Python lovers. <laughs> um, machine learning framework, uh, again, they've added some new uh, Bloomberg uh, and Thomson Reuters data. This one's pretty interesting because there's been a lot of buzz on this icon from Reuters. Um, this is a pretty big release. Doesn't look it, but uh, little things are adding up. It's pretty compelling. I'm gonna wait it out, as you know. Oh, there's my uh, Xilinx Vivado FPGA. Um, sure, uh, Mr. FPGA might have some cool things to say about that. Oh man, I could go on and on about this. Uh, it's powerful, powerful, powerful release. All right, so hopefully um, check it out. Um, and this little demo video is quite good uh, to highlight those new enhancements. And, and it's really uh, leaving a lot of the other languages for prototyping behind, especially with the way you can extend out um, the, the, uh, 
the MATLAB core language, the MScript thing language, as well as the ability um, now to even maybe do more and more production level type of stuff in MATLAB. Uh, it's getting better. Um, but again, I, I gotta highlight what uh, my friend uh, Len Quant's always said about these tools. You cannot rely on these tools and just rely on them uh, for algorithmic development. You have to understand the algorithms themselves, from, build them from scratch, which I'm always now doing. I'm not relying on just some uh, black box function or whatnot. Uh, but what I do like MATLAB is the ability uh, to enhance and, and rapidly develop trading ideas. Put them in an actual some form of production. Uh, for my type of system, it's quite good because I'm very low uh, frequency, maybe at best medium frequency, and MATLAB can definitely uh, uh, is very useful for that. But in terms of high frequency, uh, I think prototyping MATLAB is excellent at it, but the ability to then um, enhance and, and extend that uh, code using the, I don't know, Simulink encoder, the MATLAB coder, and now even by the looks of the production server, um, it's getting better. Uh, but for high frequency trading environments, I, I'm not sure if, if MATLAB is still the ultimate choice. But each release, it, it gets closer and closer, and they're addressing a lot of cool stuff. Unfortunately, I don't know Python or R to really address the capabilities of the equivalent of what is being offered here. Um, but this is a killer release, and uh, I will continue using MATLAB for obvious reasons. Other than that, talk to you later.